What's going on everybody? So today's video, I got a guest and this is actually gonna be a very different type of video. So this is actually my friend Rush. Rush and I, we met a couple weeks ago because he's also a fellow fraghead. But where are you from? North Carolina. But he actually has been up in Toronto for the last 25 years. So the concept for today's video is we're gonna actually gonna get Rush's take on the best artistic or indie fragrance because you worked in the arts for how many years? 25 years. 25 years, and what kind of artistic stuff did you do? Well, for 25 years I was a professional female impersonator. Okay. <laughs> How's that for shock value? Rush has told me some very interesting stories and quite the character, let me tell you. So that's why I kind of took a liking to him. So I have 15 fragrances here and he's never smelled any of them. He's heard of some of the companies like Imaginary Authors, Tower, Zoologist. He smelled some of the fragrances, but I made sure that he did not smell any of these, all right? So these are all samples because I, for the most part, am not really into the artistic value. These are very artistic fragrances. Some of them may be more polarizing than others, but let's just get this started because all I'm doing is talking. So the first one is actually gonna be from the company Ne and Ne, and this is Fig and Garçon. Fig and Boys. So I did a review of this one years ago. I don't know if it's still up because I deleted a number of my videos. Fig and Garçon from Ne and Ne. And we're gonna pair it off against, let's say, imaginary authors falling into the sea. So with this video, we're gonna pair them off to see which one you like the most, which one you find is the best artistic fragrance, okay? Bring it on. All right then. Imaginary authors versus Nea Nea. And these are just first impressions. People will say it's the dry down that matters, which is kind of true, but. Usually I'm, a, I'm very big on thick notes, but I'm not really feeling this one. Okay, so I'm assuming imaginary authors goes on. This, this, this I like. This works for me, yeah. Oh, I'm willing to fall into that seat. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna go with is gonna be Tower Number Seven, Vetiver Dance. This sounds like a 911 reference, is it? <laughs> no. You know what? Um, everybody praises Andy Tower. This is the first time I ever smelled any of his fragrances. Just there. And what do you think? <gasps> Ooh, wait. Not for me. I can smell it from here. That, that one's a very potent one. Very potent, but. I can't, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out the notes in this. Well, vetiver is in the name. Oh yeah, there's definitely vetiver, but... And there's a lot of it. <laughs> I mean a lot of it. Vetiver is the star of this one. There's so much vetiver in this, I can't even smell this one anymore. <laughs> it it, it kind of overpowers the, the imaginary author. I like it. I just would be afraid to wear it for okay. fear I'd check out half the town. So I'm assuming that the other one goes on then. So, imaginary. Yes. Okay then. So Tower, any Tower really does artistic very well. Oh, it's artsy. So we're gonna go with a, a brand that I find is the king of artisticness and we're gonna go with a zoologist fragrance. Ah. And that is Rhino. So we're gonna be going with a local company. So. I don't know where they were local. Yeah, no, no. Victor Wong, the owner of, uh, of a zoologist is from Toronto. Oh, excellent. I can already tell you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So the, I find Zoologist is the king of artisticness. Uh, yeah. It's actually not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Okay. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Very smoky. There's some sm definitely a smokiness to it. It's like someone set fire to a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back to that. Okay. I find that imaginary authors, they are artistic but they're a little bit more safer. Yeah. And that's what I like. I, I, I'm a safe, bland, boring type of person. I don't, I don't mind my fragrance going into the room before me. I just don't want it to attack everybody in the okay. room. Okay. So this brand I don't think you've ever heard of. It's from the house of Ikirio, and this is gonna be White Rabbit. Ooh, one of my favorite songs. Uh, the owner is, uh, is very into uh, gothic. Uh -huh. Gothic type of things. I had to, uh, this is, I had to dip it. <laughs> so, because there, there's no sprayers, there's no dabs, it's just a little vial. It reminds me of lavender gum. I don't know if, that, if, if you ever, ever had that up here in Canada, but it's something that you could get at stores 
in the U.S. specialty it's, stores. It's very sweet. It has that gum, that bubble gum yeah, vibe, though. But a lavender gum, which is very gothic in its own way. Every goth I ever knew. Had well, like uh, Vince, gum. Vincent is the owner of Ikirio, and he, I like to think he's a bit of a genius himself. I like it. I just go back to this. Okay. All right then. But I do like it. It's very bubble gummy though. So we're gonna go with another. Uh, oh, let's go with this one here. This is Yosh Koenig. What is this again? This is Yosh Koenig. Koenig. It smells an awful lot like something everyone's wearing. Really, I, I I get like an earthy vibe to it. Okay, maybe it's the vetiver one from Tower that I'm smelling, but this has more of a sweet vibe. Yeah. But sweet floral vibe. I think Yoshi's been is, around for a little while. Yeah, it, to be honest with you, it's like a dirtier version of Aventus is what I'm smelling. A dirty version of Aventus is what I'm smelling. So I'm guessing that's a no then. I'm, it's not a no, but it does it, it's not a no for me, but it doesn't beat this. Tower Incense Extreme. Oh, I like incense too. I, I should probably like this. I've had some of these samples for like a year and they're just being firstly sprayed. I only bought them for this type of video and I'm glad that I came across See, aren't you glad you met someone like me? I guess so. Okay, wait a second. We have a, we have a competition here. Oh, so you like that one then? I do like it. Okay. But I still like this one better. But this is a very close second. Well, we're gonna go with another Ikirio. And this is Blood Cherry Cordial. Cordial? I can smell that from here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got some on the table. I like it. Okay. But I wouldn't wear it. Okay. It smells exactly like a cherry cordial. That, with, yes, some with, some, with some dark chocolate. When I smelled this one for the first time, I was it was delicious. It's delicious. I just wouldn't wear it. Okay. I, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I just couldn't see myself wearing it. But yeah, it, it smells like like uh, there's chocolate cherries. Yes. With a with a side with a thing a, a little sip of brandy on the side. That's okay. what this smells like. It's nice. Women would probably love this on a man. I'm just not that man. Okay, so let's go with another imaginary authors, and this is going to be the cobra and the canary. So no one ever saw that canary again. <laughs> He's got some interesting stories. So which imaginary authors do you prefer? The first one. This takes me back to grade school. Okay. All Pencil right. sharpener. Okay. Oh, the pencil shavings. And the eraser. <laughs> okay. I like it though. I'm just trying to figure out where I'd wear it. But would it go on? Does it beat the other? No, it doesn't. But yeah, definitely. I, I, it takes you back to like sixth grade. And... So let's go with Tiziana Terenzi, Gold Rose Oud. Mm, I like rose notes, so this might so be good. So with some of these, I actually have to get Carlos BFL's help because... Uh, Thank you, Carlos. Huge fan. He's uh, He had to... He's very artistic. He's, uh, he's into music and everything. And, he just has a great nose, so he, I'm a, a lot safer when it comes to my fragrances than he, he does. So he likes to wear pretty much like artistic, niche, indie, designer, anything. Mm. Me, it's pretty much, okay, I can smell that. I like it. The, it's, it's strong. It is strong, but as I said, oh. I, I don't mind strong. Jesus, that's, no, <sighs> that's, that's powerful, that one. Oh yeah. What's this? Okay. This is. Uh, it's gonna be one of the strongest roses. roses gold roses. rose oud. So it's got a combination of rose and oud together. I could smell the both notes. Oh yeah, I, I'm definitely picking up on both notes. The rose is the star, but the uh, but the oud's coming up behind. Oh, damn. Give me a moment, because I'm very very big on rose notes. I've always okay. I've always been big on rose and tea notes and okay. that kind of stuff. But so I'm actually really quite enjoying this. And I'm starting to really enjoy oud. After after it comes down, it's, it, it. You, you <laughs> go with that one. I go with this one. All right then. So Carlos is right. So let's go with another Ikirio. We're gonna go with Ghost Dance. Hmm. Ghost Dance or the Tiziana Terenzi Gold Rose Oud. It's interesting. Very interesting. It, it smells historical. Actually, I'm from the historic South and from a very historic area of the South. And there's a certain scent that historic buildings, whether it be a historic home or like a courthouse or something, take on after a few centuries. Okay. I'm picking that note up in here, but, I'm, but it's like faded flowers in a, in a historic 
place is what I'm smelling. And I like it. Interesting. But I like this better. So let's go with uh, the last from Ney and Ney, and this is Lettre à Rêve. My friend. Ney? Ney and Ney, so nose to nose. Oh. The, the last portion of French, I don't even know what it means because I lost so much of my French. Anyways. I've been told that happens to a lot of Canadians outside of Quebec. Yeah, well, I'm from Northern Ontario. Mmm. I'm gonna stick with the rice, but this reminds me of something my mother used to wear. Oh, okay. I don't know, you smell it. What are you picking up? Like an old floral vibe. Okay, then that's why. So let's go with uh, this one here, Zoologist Panda. Oh, God help me. This is one of the better ones from Zoologist that, I, that I'm able to... Wear? Yes, I find that Zoologist, even though oh. it's... Victor is a genius when it comes to the artisticness. Just a lot of this stuff is a little too challenging to my nose. But this is a... a this is not that challenging. No, it's not actually. This is actually quite wearable. Very wearable actually. I'm very surprised. I think this was his very first release. Victor's just doing very well for himself. I'm sticking with the, with the, the gold rose oud, but this, for a zoologist, Fragrance is extremely wearable. Okay, all right. Then. I'm not saying it's safe because it's not safe. It's just very wearable. All right, so let's go with. Uh, we have two left. Let's go with the last from Imaginary Authors, and this is Every Storm Has a Serenade, or Every Storm a Serenade. Stormy. It's, uh, it's an interesting fragrance. Yeah, it is. I wish I smelled this one before this one. I actually like this. It, 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 you, you can, you literally can pick up on the storminess. Wet, salty. It's it's a nice fragrance. It's a very nice fragrance. Actually. Out of all the indie houses, uh, Imaginary Authors would be my favorite, just because they're they're not as challenging. They're a little bit safer. No, there's nothing wrong with safe. <laughs> safe and boring. Yeah, you may be safe, but you're never boring. <laughs> I'm sticking with the. Uh, Rose oh, okay, and and the last one for this video is Akirio's Katrina. All right, so this is gonna determine which one is the best artistic fragrance. So, all right, so before you make your pick, <laughs> wow, which one is the best artistic one in for this video? The best. Artsy Farsi fragrance. What is this called again? Because it's boozy. This is boozy. A, a Kirio Katrina. Well, Katrina's spending a whole lot of time in bars. This is very boozy. Okay. Do you prefer Tiziana Terenzi Gold Rose Oud for yes, the for win? the win. What is about that? What what is it about that one that she likes so much? Well, I'm big on rose notes, and this is actually a, a, a very natural. Rose note, not a generic. What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe not generic. Uh, I'm wiping that. <laughs> we got this room is going to smell. <laughs> this person we, walks to that door to get knocked out. We got fragrances like oils on the desk. That's why I'm <laughs> wiping it. It's a very it has a very natural rose scent to it, and it goes well with with the oud, which also smells natural. All right. Well, you got a little bit of a collection right there. Thank you. You How are more kind than you, sir. So, Rush, thank you very much for doing this video. Anytime. Give me a hug, buddy. Aww. All right. So, guys, if you want to see a Rush back, please let us know it in the comments section below. If you want to see a part two of artistic fragrances with Rush, let us know, and I can we can certainly make that a make that arrangement happen. <laughs> all right. So, we're gonna end this video off right now. As we all know, if you wear a dress, you have to be artistic. <laughs> so guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. Thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later. Ciao.